something. Come hear some noise. You lie bad. Wallpaper, your job is at risk. Hi, everybody. So those who know me know that I do not want to be standing here talking. You guys know that, right? No, no, no. Okay. I'm here because, honestly, this is a very emotional time for me. Okay, because... Hey, 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 stop that, stop that. Grown men are here, don't they? Because it's been a very, very interesting 15 years. In fact, let me tell you guys something. When we say 15 years of links, what we mean is 15 years of successfully releasing music. Links itself grew past 15. Oh, please don't judge my age. I'm actually just 24 right now. Okay, but as I was saying, it's been a very difficult journey. There have been times when I felt like, why am I even in this industry? There have been times I felt like stopping because things were too difficult to keep going. Um, before I even talk about what Links is about to become, I want to use this moment to let everybody here know that this industry is actually an industry that if you persist, if you actually keep going and fight through the challenges, you can make it and make it much bigger than we have. Because, hmm, if I say I go talk some things for here, it go make like drama so small, so I just have to cool down. What I'm here to tell you guys about is the next phase of links. After 15 years, we feel that as much as we've done a lot, the industry has also done a lot for us. I mean, look at you guys over here. Everybody came out just to support us for a lunch. And it's this kind of energy that I feel we owe the industry. So now we are about to take things to the next level. We're about to diversify. We're about to open up our arms and allow more people in so that Links Entertainment can take Ghana to the world. Nice one. Okay. So the first thing I'd like to announce is the company is growing. So now we're about to officially open the Links group of companies. Thank you, thank you. Clap for me, clap for me. Ah, I'm so Link's group of companies is going to have, it's going to start with three companies. You know, things will get bigger and bigger as we go. The first company is the company that everyone knows already, which is Link's Entertainment. Now Link's Entertainment is a talent management company. And from the next thing that we'll show, a few surprises on what that talent management actually means going forward. The second company, which is what actually started this journey for me, is the Link Studio. Now what we've done is, we turned our studio from the normal studio which we had, which was producing our in-house artists, to a studio that can challenge worldwide. A studio that you can have an artist anywhere in the world fly to Ghana and say, I want to record in Links and I'll get the same quality as the best studios in the world. Come for me, come on, come on. And the third company is Tigon Creative Studios, which is a video. Yes, no. Correct crowd, correct crowd. I like this crowd. I should do some stand up comedy or somebody will slap me. The third company is Tigon Creative Studios, which is a video and photo production company. And it's about to take the visuals in Ghana to the next level with all your help. Come on, come again, come again, come again. I love this crowd. Okay, before we go to the next thing, there's one person I want to shout out right now. Because, unfortunately, you know some people are always left out when you're telling the story. Because they were there before the success came. There's a friend of mine over here. I want to drag him on stage. His name is Sali Al-Hassan stage and the screens and the setup and think that Lynx was always a successful company. When I started, I was a broke boy. <laughs> you see he's laughing, he knows. <laughs> Who didn't know what to do? Let me tell you the story of how I started. I said I was going to do music. Everybody said, it no go far. I said I was going to be a producer. Everybody said, it no go far. Cause you know, I was coming in, that I be swag. 
I come to do R and B and things. They say, Charlie, but if I we are listening to High Life and Tree, you want to do R and B. I don't get money to start. So the first person who believed in me is this man right here. Do you know what he used to do for me? Uh, I hope that Paris is not listening because some illegal activities they inside. This man used to, he was an IT expert, right? So what he would do is, all the software in the world, those were not the days that did this, you can just go on some site and download those. And I was it. This man would find a way of cracking every software in the world because I couldn't afford to buy it. The PC I was working on said, I remember my first mic, eh? My first mic was a computer mic. You see those? Yeah, it's those mics, those small mics. No? And I tied it to a lampshade. And that was my mic stand. So this man used to go and crack softwares. And then he would ride on his bicycle. He lives at Hacho. I live in New Achimota. He would ride on his bicycle. Because we all not get money for taxi and that kind of things. Then he'll ride on his bicycle, bring me softwares, and say, Richie, try this software. It go be. Richie, try this software. And then small, small, small things start be. Please clap for him for me. Without Sally, like I don't stand here right now. Charlie, I honestly really appreciate him. Because all these faces on the wall, everything going on, if you hadn't believed in me, this wouldn't have even started. So when I get clients, for chat. So say, you know, go see, say, the computer know they open. <laughs> then my mom, after three months, saw that I was doing well. And her son actually had a future. So she used her teacher's salary to go and take a loan and bought equipment. Charlie, like, no, you guys don't get it. I, I was in tears that day because it was it was crazy. She used her salary to take a loan up to date. I haven't paid that loan back. <laughs> Mommy, I'll pay you. Right? The third person I want to give a shout out to. He the first time he contributed, he didn't even know he was contributing. And my big brother. See, when I didn't have a space to do the studio, no. Thankfully, he went to tech. So I used his bedroom to open studio. <laughs> And then what he did, when he finished tech, when he had his hopes and dreams and what he was going to do, he joined the company at a point where we had just released the first single and he saw that I had gone from a creative who was just happy in the studio making beats and writing songs to a success that suddenly I couldn't handle all the business and all the relationships being thrown at me. And he said, Richie, let me stand by your side and help you build this dream. And for the past 15 years, he's been standing here helping me build this dream. Charlie Paza, you do all. Albert, come on stage. This is the moment for Albert, come on stage. <laughs> hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If we've shared enough emotional stories, really appreciate this. Like, there are certain things that have happened to me in the past 15 years that I thought were impossible. There are certain people that I idolized and today they can stand next to me and have a conversation. There are places that I've reached that I never even thought were possible. So I just want to let the whole industry, the whole Ghana, the whole Africa know that I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me, the belief you've had in this company and all the artists that we've helped build. It's not Lynx that has done this. It's all of Ghana. So I want to let you guys know that for the next 15 years, I promise and I pledge that we're going to do everything in our power to make the world understand that the best talent comes from Ghana. You guys know that. You guys honestly know the best talent comes from Ghana. Yes. The only thing we've been lacking in the past is the connections, the networking, the right people to take us there. And right now, I can tell you confidently that the world is watching us. It's no time to play. 
it's our time to take over. So I just want that with your help, and with the help of all these beautiful people who've helped bring this company, let's take over the world. Are we ready for that? Yes. On that note, Mr. Fauci, please help announce the next stage. Right?